Hey guys, Amanda here. Okay, so um, I just want to comment on um, the video I posted about, you know, stop being selfish and all that stuff. Um, I still mean what I say in that video. Um, I, I realized that I probably sounded mean, aggressive, you know, whatever you want to use. And I just want you to know where that was coming from. And it's coming from a place of protection for my family and fear of how people are not taking this seriously. So I was upset um, when I heard all across the country, even in my state, people are saying, look, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to open my business, even though I don't have permission. You don't have to wear masks. You can do whatever you want and it's okay. And you know, I just don't think that that's really the mature and smart thing to do. To me, that screams self-centered and selfish. That's just my opinion. Um, but I wanted you guys to know where I was coming from. And the point of what I was trying to say is when you're, when the right thing is needed to be done, it is the hardest thing you'll ever have to do. Doing the right thing is always the hardest thing to do. It always has been. That's why people don't want to do it. They'd rather blame other people or get somebody else to clean up their mess. So that was the point of that video. Um, so that's leading me into what I want to talk. Shh. Leading me to what I want to talk about right now. Um, I took my mother to an appointment and there were these two ladies who were walking in. This was at a hospital. She had, she needed a procedure done. And these two ladies were walking in and they weren't wearing masks. And when my mother was a little upset about that because she has pre-existing conditions, you know, um, or underlying conditions, whatever it is you want to call it. She has other things, you know, wrong with her. So she was a little upset that they weren't wearing a mask and obviously I couldn't go in so she told I asked her what happened when you got when you got inside and they like what happened she said they were appalled <laughs> that they had to wear masks they they were like being real disrespectful I guess you know rude about it and everything and they came out before her and they were both laughing when they came out they're like ah, ha, ha, I can't believe they made us wear masks oh my god this thing is just a joke nobody is actually dying this is you know ridiculous and they're laughing yeah COVID-19 ah, ha, ha. you know that kind of behavior it's like okay um sure sure um okay you're allowed to have your opinion you really really are but um you know, here's the thing. I had said previously that I didn't know anyone directly or indirectly that had this virus. And that has changed. Um, a doctor that I used to see, the receptionist who was there for a long time, um, her it was either her father or her uncle, could be a brother, one of them male persons in her family um, contracted it and passed away so it is real it is not a joke it is not funny and I just hope that people can learn to even if they don't believe in something excuse me at least you know go through the motions to make sure that what it, it play devil's advocate say you don't think it's real pretend that it is real what would you do if it was really real you know and and wear the mask and don't joke about it and don't joke that people aren't really I mean <laughs> I don't understand these are grown adults I would expect this from like teenagers and stuff but grown adults that are like in their 40s it's mind boggling to me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. But 
it upset me because they were laughing about it. They think it's a joke. It's not a joke. It's really not a joke. It's not funny. And I just want people to think of others, have compassion for others. Don't just think about yourselves. Think about the people around you and make sure you're doing what you can to keep you and everyone you come into contact with as safe as you possibly can. It's not that hard. It really, really isn't. Like I said, the point of that other video, the message I was trying to get out is doing the right thing is always the hardest thing you'll ever have to do. Because you aren't blaming somebody else. You aren't getting somebody else to clean up your mess. You are owning it and living it. And... Yeah, I'm, I, 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 yeah, 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 seriously, I don't know what to say. It's like, I, it makes me sad that, because here's what I think, even if you don't believe in it, what if somebody really close to you gets this virus? What's your attitude going to be like then? Are you going to tell them that you think they're lying, that you think it's fake? You know what I mean? Like, it, does it have to take for someone you personally know and love and care about to understand how serious this virus is? I mean, this is one of those types of things that could wipe out humanity. I think we should all take it seriously. Or at least pretend to take it seriously. If you've got nothing nice to say or encouraging or supportive... I'm sure that most people don't want to hear it. I mean, I don't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear and listen to those people laugh and make a joke about it. But I had to hear it. And then I had to process it. And then I had to come here and tell you guys all about it. <laughs> so I'm just, please, please, we should be a community. We, should, we are the United States, not the divided states. But Division seems to be what's ruling right now. If you don't believe in this, then you're that. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, this is America. You can have whatever opinion you want. You can do whatever you want. As long as it doesn't violate the law or interfere with someone's health. Like something that could hurt them. Like a virus. You know what I'm saying? Um... I'm sorry. I my I'm still trying to process this. I I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe it's fear. I don't know. I mean, when you come into contact with something you don't know anything about, you've never seen before, it can be scary and people can react in many different ways. You know, maybe maybe it's just that. You know, people are just reacting how they're reacting, I guess. But Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, thank you for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Please take care of yourselves and make sure that the people around you are safe. Even if you offer them a mask and they don't have one, you know, something like that. That's, that's incredible, you know. Um, you know, be safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.